According to statistics, there are over 25,000 chimney fires per year in the United States that are responsible for over $125 million in property damage. The buildup of creosote along your chimney walls can facilitate the start of chimney fire. I'm Melissa from Northline Express and today I'm going to talk to you about stage 3 creosote and what you can do about it. Third stage creosote is definitely the most dangerous and something that is should be avoided. Not only is it extremely difficult to clean, it's a highly concentrated fuel that resembles a coating of tar dripping down in the inside of your chimney. This type of glazed creosote can become very thick as it hardens and it repeatedly recoats itself with another layer over time. And a hot fire can very easily ignite this type of creosote and that makes it very hazardous. If stage 3 creosote does catch fire, it becomes easier to remove because it leaves behind a spongy residue. But a chimney fire is too easily able to lead to a house fire because the intense flame often catch the roof on fire or damage the flue. So it's not as simple as removing it by burning it out of your chimney. Many times it's best to replace it with your chimney liner or your chimney at all if it's severely coated with stage 3 creosote. It's also a good option maybe to have a professional out to check it out as well. But there are chemical removers that are fairly effective. The two best products that we recommend here at Northline Express are the ACS liquid spray or the ACS creosote remover powder. ACS in its liquid form is a chimney creosote removal spray that can be applied directly onto the fire or used to pre-treat the wood before you're burning it. The vapor then goes up inside the flue, attaches itself to the glazed creosote, and chemically modifies it. When it's doing that, it's converting it from that sticky tar to a harmless ash that is going to be easily swept out with a chimney brush. ACS in its powder form is going to be a little bit more powerful. This powdered chimney creosote remover is applied to the chimney walls and up inside your flue. When you start a fire, the temperature will need to reach 300 degrees. And once that happens, the ACS powder is going to cause that creosote to expand and contract at different rates than the flue it's actually attached to. That's going to cause it to peel away from the flue liner. Both of these products contain a unique chemical catalyst that breaks down the creosote over time. And actually, they're most powerful when you use them in combination. Use the ACS powder for the first two weeks to break down the really heavy duty creosote, then use the regular ACS liquid spray every time you have a fire. Give it five or six sprays each time to reduce the creosote buildup and help keep your chimney creosote free. Both the ACS liquid creosote remover as well as the ACS in its powder format are very powerful creosote remover tools. They're both great also for helping keep your chimney creosote free. Creosote's an unavoidable substance every time you burn a fire. No matter how good your wood is, it is something that's going to be released. What does matter is how often you're using your fireplace or wood stove and how much of that creosote you're releasing based on the amount of wood you're using and the air restriction inside of your chimney. Keep all of those factors in mind and using these products and you should be able to help keep that chimney creosote build up to a minimum. If you feel that your creosote already exists at such a high level that you aren't comfortable taking care of it, there's no reason that you shouldn't call a certified chimney sweep and have them out and look at it either. Once you get it taken care of though, definitely remember the ACS creosote removers because these are great products to do it. They're also fairly effective for heavy creosote buildup. Stay tuned for more great informational videos from NorthlineExpress.com on creosote as well as creosote removal products.